Good morning, dear students of class 4. In the previous English class, we have learned about nouns and pronouns, isn't it? And nouns are the names of a person, animal, place, or thing. And special names are given to identify a particular person, animal, place, or thing, isn't it? And these special names are called proper nouns and pronouns are the words used in place of a noun today we are going to start with a new topic parts of speech part two and under parts of speech part two we have adjectives verbs and adverbs can anyone tell me what are adjectives Okay, first let me tell you, alright, an adjective is a word that tells us more about a noun or a pronoun. And it tells about the quality, quantity, number or order of the noun it describes. First, we have adjective of quality. Now, what is adjective of quality? An adjective of quality answers the question, what kind? Alright, so an adjective of quality will answer the question, what kind? Alright, okay, for example, we have the hungry fox chased a cat. First, what is the noun in this sentence? The noun here in this sentence is fox, isn't it? And an adjective is a word that tells us more about a noun or a pronoun, isn't it? So, adjective of quality answers the question, what kind? Alright, so what kind of a fox? Hungry, isn't it? Hungry fox. So, Hungry is the adjective here in this sentence. Next, we have adjective of quantity. An adjective of quantity answers the question, how much? So, an adjective of quantity will always answer the question, how much? Adjective of quantity mostly describes uncountable nouns. What are uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns are the nouns which you cannot count. Like, for example, water. Water cannot be counted, isn't it? So, it is an uncountable noun. For example, we have, uh, there is little water to drink. Now, the noun here in this sentence is water. Adjective tells us more about a noun, isn't it? So, you will ask the question, how much water? Little, isn't it? Little water. So, little is the adjective here in this sentence. Next, we have adjective of number. So, an adjective of number will always answer the question, how many? Alright. We have, I will be absent for six days now what is the noun here in this sentence days isn't it now you have to ask the question how many days six right so the adjective here in this sentence is six because it tells us more about a noun all cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers are also adjectives. Alright. Now, for example, we have, I stood in the third row. So, third tells us more about the noun row, isn't it? So, third is the adjective here in this sentence. Now, let's take a look at more examples. Okay. An old man is standing there. Adjective in this sentence. The word old 
says, what kind of a man is standing there, isn't it? So, the word old is the adjective in this sentence. Next, we have, there are two pens. Here in this sentence, what is the adjective? The word two says how many pens, isn't it? So, the word two is the adjective in this sentence. Sentence, we have, the mango is ripe. Now, what is the adjective here in this sentence? The adjective ripe says more about the noun mango, isn't it? So, ripe is the adjective here in this sentence. Next sentence, we have, he is angry. Now, here in this sentence, the adjective angry tells us more about the pronoun he, isn't it? So, the adjective is angry. For your homework, I want everyone to turn to page 13. Alright, exercise 1. Underline the adjectives in the following sentences. You are going to underline the adjectives in these sentences. The first sentence we have, a blind man is walking along the busy street. Now, what kind of a man is walking? A blind man, isn't it? So, blind is the adjective. And what kind of a street? Busy, isn't it? So, busy is also the adjective. There are two ad adjectives in this sentence. Blind and busy. Next, we have, that man is wearing a funny cap. Now, what is the adjective here in this sentence? What kind of a cap is that man wearing? A funny cap, isn't it? So, the adjective here in this sentence is funny. I want you to do the rest of these exercises by yourself. Alright. We move on to verb. Now, what are verbs? You all know that a verb is mainly a doing word, isn't it? And it describes an action, right? We have a few sentences here and we are going to find out the verbs in this sentences. Alright, the first sentence, he acts on TV. In this sentence, the verb is acts, isn't it? Acts says what he does. So, acts is the verb in this sentence. The next sentence we have, Anil bowls well. In this sentence, bowls says what Anil does, isn't it? So, bowls is the verb here in this sentence. Next sentence, we have, the bird flew away. In this sentence, flew says what the bird did, isn't it? So, flew is the verb here in this sentence. A few verbs like be, am, is, are, become, seem, etc., Say what somebody or something is. Now, let's take a look at examples. Anita is a clever girl. Now, what is the verb here in this sentence? Is, isn't it? Next, the dinner was nice. Now, what is the verb here in this sentence? Was, isn't it? Next sentence we have, This shirt seems better. Now, what is the verb in this sentence? Seems, isn't it? Very good. A verb may also be made up of two or more words. Alright. Now, in these sentences, Mr. Singh has gone out. What is the verb in this sentence? Has gone, isn't it? Two words. 
Next sentence we have, I will be visiting Mr. James tomorrow. Now, what is the verb in this sentence? I will be visiting Mr. James tomorrow. The verb here in this sentence is, will be visiting, isn't it? Three words. So, a verb may also be made up of two or more words. Now, for your homework, I want everyone to turn to page 16, exercise number 4. Underline the verbs in the following passage. So, you are going to read this passage and you are going to underline the verbs. One evening, Dr. Harma Maitra, a leader of Brahma Samaj, was walking home with a new umbrella in his hand. So, in the first sentence, was walking is the verb. So, you will underline was walking. You will read the rest of the passage by yourself and underline the verbs. Alright. Turn to page 15. Exercise number 3. Label the pictures. Use the words given below. Number 1 has been done as an example. So, you are going to use these words and label the pictures. The first one, we have a picture of a shirt. So, you are going to use the words from this box and this box. And you are going to label these pictures. A dirty shirt. The first one has been done. And here we see a picture of a man. You can use a strong man all right and next we have a picture of a very crowded bus so you can use a and from this box you can use the word crowded and from this box you can use the word bus all right and ne next we have a picture of a fat woman so you can use the word a uh, and from this box you can use the word fat and from this box you can use the word woman so a fat woman so i want you to do the rest of these exercises by yourself and do it carefully next we move on to adverbs now what is an adverb an adverb usually adds to the meaning of a verb and often tells us how, when, or where something happens. Alright, so an adverb usually adds to the meaning of a verb and often tells us how, when, or where something happens. Now, for your understanding, let's take a look at a set of examples. The first sentence we have, he walks quickly. Now, what is the adverb here in this sentence? Quickly, isn't it? The adverb quickly tells us how he walks. Next sentence, the girl sang sweetly. What is the adverb here in the sentence? Sweetly, isn't it? The adverb sweetly says how the girl sang. So the adverb in the sentence is sweetly. Next sentence we have, they arrived yesterday. Now what is the adverb here in this sentence? Can anyone tell me? Yesterday, yes, very good. The adverb yesterday says... When they arrived. So the adverb in this sentence is yesterday. Next we have my uncle lives there. What is the adverb in this sentence? There, isn't it? The adverb there says where he lives. So there is the adverb in this sentence. Now let's take a look at another example. Sam sees many puppies outside in this sentence outside 
tells us where the action happens. That is, outside describes the action word sees. So, outside is the adverb here in this sentence. Next sentence, we have, My father came home early. Here in this sentence, early tells us when the action happens. That is, early describes the action word came. So, the adverb here in this sentence is early, isn't it? Now, we will do a little review on what we have learned today, alright? An adverb is a word that tells something more about a verb. An adverb tells how, where, or when an action happens. Words like daily, somewhere, quickly, everywhere, calmly, regularly, nowhere, freely, silently, near, soon, etc. are all adverbs. An adverb never describes a noun or a pronoun. We often get confused between adverbs and adjectives. When you get confused, I want you to remember the following. Adverbs describe verbs. Adjectives describe nouns. An adverb never describes a noun. For example, I ate a heavy meal. The word heavy describes the noun meal. Sometimes we add ly to an adjective to get an adverb. For example, the dress is elegant. Elegant is the adjective that describes the noun dress. She dresses elegantly. Here in this sentence, elegantly, an adverb, describes the verb dresses. Now for your homework, I want everyone to turn to page 17. Exercise 5. Underline the adverbs in these sentences. The first sentence, he ran fast to catch the bus. Now, what is the verb here in this sentence? Ran, isn't it? And fast is the word that describes the word ran, isn't it? So, fast is the adverb here in this sentence. Next sentence, three women are standing outside. Now, uh, what is the adverb here in this sentence? Outside, isn't it? Because it tells us more about the verb. Standing, isn't it? So, outside is the adverb here in this sentence. I want you to do the rest of these exercises by yourself. Okay? Exercise 6. Complete the sentences with suitable adverbs. Choose from these. So, you have to complete these sentences with the adverbs from the box. The first sentence, He failed the exam because he didn't work dash. He failed the exam because he didn't work hard, isn't it? Hard will be the correct adverb for this sentence. Next sentence, Sheila is good at maths. She can do any sum dash. Sheila is good at math. She can do any sum easily, isn't it? Easily is the correct adverb for this sentence. So, I want you to do the rest of these exercises by yourself. Do it carefully and submit your homework by Saturday. Alright! I hope everyone understood today's lesson and that's all for today. Thank you.